A major environmental scandal's been uncovered and it's right in our backyard. It's a vast island of rubbish that's slowly clogging the Pacific Ocean and killing wildlife. They aren't tiny shells being washed ashore, it's plastic and it's everywhere. On the hidden beaches of Hawaii, it replaces sand. There's this notion that when we use an item, we throw it away and it goes to this magical, mystical place called Away. Well, I visited Away and it was in the middle of the ocean. The Pacific Ocean, and it's called the North Pacific Gyre or the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, a so-called island of rubbish twice the size of France. Environmentalist Tim Silverwood spent three weeks there. His team trawled just below the surface to find trash, not treasure. When you start doing the math in your mind that you're only taking a very, very thin sample of the ocean surface, it is heartbreaking and it's horrific. He returned with a bounty. This clearly does not belong in the ocean. And photographs of beaches covered in plastic, washed up debris that's been swirling in the ocean for decades. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch seems a world away from our pristine beaches, but it's our throwaway lifestyle that's responsible for its existence. Humans are the only ones that make waste that nature can't digest. Plastics don't break down in the ocean, they just break up, imitating food for marine life. And right on our doorstep at Lord Howe Island, the flesh-footed shearwater is in decline. In the stomach of one bird, 276 pieces of plastic were found. As far as I know, a world record. So that's equivalent to you or I having somewhere between 10 and about 12 kilos of plastic inside of your body. Research like that makes the 45-year-old Keep Australia Beautiful campaign more relevant than ever. You can't but help be moved by the vision that we've seen today, by seeing what we're actually doing to our planet, to our animals. It is just incredible and I think we all do need to be woken up, I guess. Rebecca Madden, 7 News.